I was 34 years old and I had a two-year-old son and I was diagnosed with acute monoblastic leukemia. No one in my family had had leukemia before. It was very scary, it was very strange, and I didn't understand what was happening. I knew I was gonna get through it. I knew the medication was going to help me. All the side effects, losing my hair, being exhausted, not wanting to eat, those were secondary to the mental anguish I had. I had my two-year-old and the concern was staying around for him. It was a very big surprise to learn that the medicine to treat my leukemia came from coral reefs. Coral reefs are the medicine chests of the sea. A lot of people think tropical rainforest is being where you're gonna find the next big drug, important life-saving drug, but actually the chances are much greater on coral reefs. They're just an enormous source of biological diversity, which then in turn translates to chemical diversity. And each of the different organisms that lives there has the potential to make different compounds. And the more compounds there are, one of them might treat Alzheimer's disease, one might treat cancer, one might be good for uh, treating HIV. It's known now that sponges contain a lot of chemical properties and it could be from the fact that they cannot move and so they're little kind of chemical warfers. They produce all these different chemicals that when you translate those to humans, they actually have properties that help us fight diseases. I look at coral reefs now the same way that I've looked at all nature, how intriguing it is, how spellbinding, that out of nowhere, we humans can find things that makes our lives healthier and happier overall. It is very important that we preserve the reefs, not only because they provide these fantastic drugs for us, I mean that is something that we see it as a potential benefit for us as humans, but they are so important for preserving the oceans and their beauty of it and the balance between different species. The Nature Conservancy is working all across the tropics, both on the ground and in the water, to protect coral reefs for people. Coral reefs provide an incredible number of benefits to hundreds of millions of people around the world, and our work is focusing on working with those communities that depend on reefs and helping them ensure that reefs continue on and continue to provide those benefits into the future. Having cancer is a life-changing event. It's really changed my focus. It's changed just about everything. I'm grateful for every moment I have. I'm grateful for every sound of wave behind me. I'm grateful for everybody that I meet. And I'm grateful to be able to hear nature and be part of it.